So let us now start discussing another uh, blister forming disease which is called bullous pamphigoid and again this is a blister forming disease so on the skin there will be a blister. Bullous pamphigoid is another distinctive acquired blistering disorder. It also has autoimmune uh, basis just like pamphigus. So um, iski pathogenesis dekhte hain ki bullous pamphigoid ki kya hai. Blistering in bullous pamphigoid is triggered by a linear deposition of autoreactive IgG antibodies and complement kaha deposit hote hain ye in the epidermal basement membrane. Now remember this is very different from the pamphigus, pamphigus vulgaris or fallacious. Usme humne baat ki thi ki if this is the basement membrane, here is the epidermal stratum basal, the first layer and then there will be multiple layers and in the epidermis one cell and the other cell they have intercellular junctions and against those junction we get the antibody so IgG antibody we discussed ki thi, jo ke in cellular junctions ko discuss, uh, disrupt karti hai. and then you start getting the blister so the blister is because of the cellular uh, intercellular protein problems and that forms blisters and that problem basically was within the epidermis but now see what's happening here here the IgG antibodies are acting against the basement membrane so the basement membrane is the target here for the antibodies. So you, should, you need to know what is the target of the antibodies. Reactivity also occurs in the basement membrane attachment plaques, which is called hemidesmosomes. There are hemidesmosomes in there where most bullous pamphigoid antigen, which is usually a collagen protein. The proteins that are recognized by the autoantibodies have structural roles in dermo-epidermal adhesion. So here again we have the basement membrane, and all this is epidermis with multiple layers, and here it is dermis. So epidermis and dermis are glu ki tarah chipke hote hain ek dusre ke saath by the basement membrane and here we have hemidesmosomes so again uh, in proteins ke jab antibodies hoti hai so there is a blister uh, which separates epidermis from the dermis that is what happens in uh, bullous pamphigoid okay Bullous pamphigoid and pamphigus vulgaris are thus caused by a similar pathogenic mechanism. Dono hi mein, there is an autoantibody of IgG category, but the target proteins are different. The mechanisms, their location, they are different. In uh, this particular disorder, which we are discussing at bullous pamphigoid, here the target antigen is hemidesmosome. Um, jabke pemphigus me is the desmosome which is present between the cells okay and hemidesmosome is present in the basement membrane so that's all very important Achab hoga kya hoga ye ki when you have this sort of issue now try to understand this right try to understand this is very important and high yield concept so if this is the skin and here is the stratum basale epidermal layer and then multiple epidermal layers and here we have the dermis right now if the antibodies attack this particular area so the whole of the epidermis this will be separated and the blister will be formed between the epidermis and the dermis so if you look at the diagram here uh, which one of the three you think will be uh, best representative of uh, bullous pamphigoid sub epidermal blister because here whole of the epidermis is separated from the dermis and the basement membrane is totally separated so you see this is all uh, separation yes are a blister either upper epidermis and each other miss it up is blister gig important bath hoogie kj be a blister banana to this key upper layer both the title you have is called the ball part nikki kushish karo yeh chala patega nai yeh blister partner nai wala because is key jo upper layer hai it contains all the epidermal layers so it's a very important concept jab came Pemphigus may it will rupture because if, if it's subcorneal it will easily rupture even the sub suprabasal will rupture right so bullous pemphigoid is associated with very tense sub epidermal bully it's very tense it's called parnasa nahi and that's the take home message very important and this is how you actually differentiate uh, the two type of blisters in the clinic bullous pemphigoid bohati sakht kisam ka blister hoga pemphigus vulgaris easily rupture okay now clinically the lesion of the bullous pemphigoid do not rupture as readily as in the pemphigus so now you know the reason because the um, layers of the blister are very very thick because this is all complete layers of epidermis because the antibodies are acting against the basement membrane hemidesmosomes okay right um, if uncomplicated by infection it heal without scaring but if an infection ho jata hai, then there are problems okay the disease tend to follow a remitting and relapsing course uh, gestational pamphigoid also known as herpes gestation or uh, gestation uh, 
बड़ा अजीब सा है टंग ट्विस्टर टाइप की चीज़ है इट्स अ मिस नोमर सिंस देर इज नो हर पीस इन्फेक्शन इन वर्ल्ड राइट इट्स क्लिनिकली डिस्टिंग सब टाइप दैट अपेयर सडनली ड्यूरिंग द सेकेंड और द थर्ड ट्राइमिस्टर रूटीनली सीन इट इज ऑल्सो कॉज बाई और एंटीबॉडीज लाइक वी डिस्कस्ड जेस्टेशनल पैम्फिकॉय टिपिकली रिजॉल्व आफ्टर चाइल्ड बर्थ सो मैंने आपको ये सो यू लुक है This is a typical blister seen in bullous pemphigoid. So you see, it's very tense. It's very tough because the upper layer contains all uh, different layers of epidermis. Now, if you look at this diagram, what do you think this is? If this is, do you think uh, bullous pemphigoid or uh, pemphigus? It looks pemphigus because if this is the basement membrane. and this is the epidermis you see the epidermal basal layers are intact and the blister is in the epidermal layer so this is not bullous pemphigoid agar bullous pemphigoid hota to ye puri puri epidermis uth ke alag ho gayi hoti right so i hope you now understand how to differentiate between uh, bullous pemphigoid and pemphigus vulgaris okay